Have you ever looked at a map and wondered, why do rivers wiggle and curve instead of flowing in a straight line? When water starts flowing downhill, it usually takes the easiest path. But as it moves, it bumps into things like rocks, soil, and other obstacles. Water on the outside of a small bend flows faster, which means it picks up and carries away more dirt and sediment. On the inside of the bend, the water moves slower and drops some of that dirt. Over time, this makes the bends bigger and more pronounced. This process is called erosion and deposition, and it happens continuously. The faster the river flows, and the softer the ground it moves over, the more wiggly and twisty it becomes. Sometimes, a river can even loop so much that it cuts off a piece, leaving behind a U-shaped lake called an oxbow lake. So, rivers don't start out curvy. They become that way as they carve their path, always searching for the easiest route downhill. It's a never-ending dance between water and land, shaping the world as we see it today, all because of simple physics and a bit of time working together.